Hi green lovers, it's Tara and today is the 1st of July and I thought about doing a garden tour today and then I thought, you know what, uh, garden tours are boring and long videos. So instead of that, I thought what I'd do is I would show you five interesting plants in my garden and uh, I'll call them the award winners and I'll tell you what award each plant is winning. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So this here is my eggplant bed. I planted this about a month ago and this bed wins the award for uh, the most exciting plant or plant variety in my garden. And the reason for that is this bed has really just exploded in growth. When I planted these little transplants in here about a month ago, I had no idea this would grow so fast and produce flowers and not just flowers. Look at all the fruit here. This is a variety called Little Prince. And I've got one, two, three, four, um, five. There's one more over there. On that plant, on this plant, I've got another one, two, three, and then there's another in the back there, four eggplants, and, and so on and so forth. But each of these plants, I mean, look at this flowers everywhere. So very productive, small size eggplant, and it's just been growing like crazy. And I've got a few other varieties over here. I don't know what this variety is. I thought it was a Little Prince eggplant, but um, it's kind of weird. It's almost like it's growing upside down. I've never seen that in an eggplant before, um, but it's obviously a whitish uh, kind of eggplant with a little bit of purple blush on it. And I don't know what variety this is. This one just kind of snuck in here. And I've got a few other, I think I've got Black Beauty and uh, Rosa Bianca. So yeah, several varieties of eggplant in this bed, but the star attraction is really the worm bin that I created here. And I will put a link to the video that I made when I created this worm bin. But basically the way that I watered this bed, I put a little water around, but I mostly um, filled this up with water and let the worm tea sort of drain and fertilize this fertilize this bed. I think that's one of the reasons why it just grew like lightning speed. Um, I've got a Japanese eggplant over here in a pot that's also growing like crazy and it's just absolutely loaded with flowers and, and some fruit starting to form over there at the bottom. So yeah, eggplant. That's the most exciting plant I'm, uh, plant type I'm growing in my garden. Now over here is a mouse melon plant and this little plant wins the award for most surprising plant in my garden. And the reason for that is, number one, it was really difficult to get this thing started. I planted about 10 seeds, uh, maybe about five germinated, out of which only two survived for various reasons. It just kind of sat there and died off. And then these two that survived just did nothing for, it felt like a few months they just sat here and did nothing and then suddenly uh, the right weather conditions hit i don't know what it was but these just exploded in growth and um, this particular plant the main growing tip broke off and typically with cucumber like plants when that happens uh, the cucumbers just don't perform very well but this one has just produced all kinds of side branches it actually reminds me of my daughter's hair when she was a little girl it was just so unruly and I just didn't know what to do with it I didn't you know I couldn't braid it it just kind of felt out of control so that's kind of how this is growing it's a little bit out of control uh, but growing really really well and um, yeah very cute just like my daughter and yeah it's got little flowers little tiny flowers that are starting to pop up and or pop out and I can't wait to see what the cute little mouse melons look like. So yeah, this one wins the award for most surprising plant in my garden just because I had almost given up on it and then the growth just sort of kicked in and like this is about, I'd say, 10 days worth of growth. It grew from practically nothing, this tiny little thing to this big old crazy mess. So yeah, most, most surprising plant in my garden. So this is my pepper bed and I've done a video on pruning peppers that I will also link above. But the plant that I want to draw, to draw your attention to is the banana pepper plant. And I will call this 
the award winner for the most rewarding uh, plant that I've got here in my garden. And part of the reason is because when I put it in here, it like this again is about maybe 10, 12 days worth of um, growth from practically a flower to a whole big fruit. And there's several fruit here. I just feel just so rewarding to grow this plant. It produces peppers early in the season and they just grow so fast when the right conditions hit. So yeah, grow yourself some banana peppers. You will not regret it. Over here in these two planters is a moringa or rather two dwarf moringa plants. Now moringa, if you look it up, um, it is one of the healthiest plants. It pretty much all the parts of the plant are edible from the, the leaves, which are just high in all kinds of incredible nutrients and antioxidants and things like that. And then it produces this fruit uh, called a drumstick. It actually looks like a drumstick. And um, this plant actually wins the award for the most nostalgic plant in my garden because uh, drumsticks are a tree that we grow or moringa. Um, it's a tree that is grown all over India, which is where I came from. And I just grew up eating so many drumsticks. Maybe that's why I'm so healthy. But yeah, Moringa. And I'm finally able to get it to grow. I know it's not frost hardy, so I'm going to have to take it inside. But um, I've tried growing it before unsuccessfully. And this variety out of, um, gosh, about 10 seeds that I started, I've got three plants. Two are growing here and others growing in a whiskey, half whiskey barrel uh, planter. And I'm hoping that they're all going to survive, but they're looking really good. Yep. So the mo most nostalgic plant in my garden, the Moringa or the drumstick plant. So this plant over here is actually quite a favorite with a lot of gardeners. It's called the Sun Gold Cherry Tomato and it wins the award for the most prolific producer in my garden. Uh, I, I'm actually not doing justice to it by showing you this particular plant because this one is looking a little bit sad and stressed with the heat but it, I've picked so many Sun Gold Cherries, Cherry Tomatoes off of this and it's still producing and producing and um, I've got at least about five or six of these in the garden. So yeah, I've been eating a lot of sun gold cherry tomatoes. So the award for the most prolific producer in my garden, the sun gold cherry tomato. And last by no means the least, the award for the most endearing plant in my garden is my single seed challenge plant, the Berry's Crazy Cherry Tomato. Now, it's just started to produce uh, fruit and I just picked the first one yesterday. But yeah, this one uh, has this multiflora, like uh, flower bunches. This one actually doesn't have any left. I'm actually surprised because I've got other plants in the garden that have huge bunches of uh, of uh, lots and lots of flowers growing and they if they all produce fruit it's a huge bunch of crazy crazy huge bunch of grape-like um, tomatoes. Uh, so yeah berries cra crazy cherry very tasty little tomato and uh, definitely my my most beloved plant in the garden. So the award for the most endearing plant goes to Berry's Crazy Cherry. So that's it folks. That's a tour of some of my favorite plants that I'm growing in my garden this 1st of July 2020. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will try and post another one maybe in the August time frame. Maybe I'll have some new favorites by then. But until then, do uh, like, subscribe to my channel if you can, and follow me along on my gardening journey. And uh, don't forget, live green and love your greens.